Hello students, today we are going to discuss the poem A Roadside Stand and it is written by Robert Frost. Okay, Robert Frost is an American poet. who has written many beautiful poems in his writing career. As far as this poem, uh, this particular poem is concerned, in this poem, the poet Robert Frost is taking the issue of deprived or poor, poor villagers. Okay. These people, these poor people, these deprived people have not been supplied even the best basic necessities of life. They are far removed from even the basic things and they, uh, and they spend their lives in all kind of lands. Okay. That is why, because they are, they are deprived, they are poor, they, are, they have nothing, uh, they have no permanent source of income, that is why. Okay, to, to have a, uh, to have a uh, source of income, they put up a roadside stand. Okay, and what do they do on the roadside stand? They try to sell something, uh, uh, some kind of vegetables or some kind of wild fruits. They are selling on their roadside stand. Okay, but the poet is saying, uh, in spite of all their ventures or all their works, they are not, uh, they are not able to even the minimum or basic earnings. Okay, Please, uh, still they have put up that outside standard, they are trying to earn something. But the poet is clearly saying that the, that the city people, that the rich city people do not buy anything from them. They just pass away from them, uh, from there. Okay, they ignore them. So the poet uh, in this poem, in this long poem, is trying to depict the uh, plights and you know, agony, pain, sufferings of these poor, deprived villagers who try to put up a roadside stand. And roadside, what is roadside stand? Means there is a shed. Okay, there is a hut type of store in, uh, on the side of the road and that is called a roadside stand. Okay, so the poet is uh, through this roadside stand or through the picturization of this roadside stand is trying to find out the woes, sufferings of these poor people in this poem. Okay, so let's take the poem. The little old house, the little old house was out, the little old house was out with a little engine. Okay, in front of the edge of the road where the traffic span, that is of the Okay, now what is happening here? What is happening here? There is a little house, there is a little old house, means this is house, old house, it has not been renovated for a long time. Okay, not has been renovated for a long time. And this is a little house. Uh, its structure is like a heart. Now, this house was out with a little new stand. Out was out, it's extended. We did a little new shed. Okay. Now, means uh, if you suppose this is a house and here, uh, this is a road. Their tra traffic keeps speeding. Now, they have extended the boundaries or limitation of this house. They have put some shed here. Okay. And they are selling their things under this shed. Okay, got it. So this is an old house that, and it has been was out means it has been extended to the edge of the road and uh, to the near the road and there this roadside stand has been put up. Okay, and what is the purpose of this the or in front of the edge of the road? Means in front of the house and near the edge of the house, this roadside stand has been put up. Where the traffic span, where the traffic keep passing, traffic keep running, okay, all the all day long. Now, what is the next line? A roadside stand that too pathetically planned.
pathetically planned figure of speech personification personification now why because work uh, the work done uh, is pleading and who is this pleading pleading requesting or begging so by whom the work uh, pled or pleading or requesting or begging is being done by the roadside stand roadside stand so the poet is saying that the roadside stand is pleading and now roadside stand is a no living thing and it has been shown working or functioning like human beings so there is a personification of this roadside stand now what do the what does the roadside stand do it it is pleading it is requesting to those it is requesting to those city people who pass there Yes, he is making a some he is making some kind of request to them unse kuch kehna chahta hai unse kuch request karna chahta hai jo log yahan se pass ho rahe hain unse okay it would not be fair to say for a doll of bread doll of bread okay now what is the poet saying the poet is saying that this roadside stand keep that road that this roadside stand keeps requesting to the rich city people but they are not requesting for a doll of bread it means they are not uh, requesting for a piece of bread is their begging is not uh, ordinary begging means they are not uh, requesting for a doll of bread or they are uh, pleading begging for a piece of bread aisa nahi hai ki wo seedha bread is liye jo hai begging kar rahe hain but some of the money they are requesting or they are begging for some of the money okay but there is something uh, you must know that their begging is not that kind of begging that come and give us some money okay but their begging or their requesting or their pleading is something different means they want to earn money they want to have money but they want that their for their items their things should be purchased from them they want to earn that money they are requesting them to purchase something from them okay so they are requesting for some of the money the cash means they are requesting for some cash they want to they want to have some cash from the city people the cash whose flow supports the flower of cities the flower of cities they are requesting for some money or cash whose flow is flow of money supports uh, support sports the lives sports the flower of cities from sinking and withering hand the flowers of cities okay for uh, metaphor figure of speech is metaphor now what are these flower of cities these are rich people they are these are rich people now what is the poet saying the poet is saying that they are requesting for some of the money they want to have some of the money in their hands now, now they are requesting means which money means uh, they, these poor people are requesting means they are they want to have uh, they want to earn some money they want to have some money but what kind of money means he is saying that they want to earn some money from these flower of cities means rich people and the flow of this money and the flow of money uh, this money supports them and uh, uh, saves them from sinking and withering faint withering faint now the what now what is the poet saying the poet is saying that the flow of this money saves the people rich people from sinking wo unko barbaad hone se doobne se bachata hai and the same money saves them from withering faint means unki life ko faint hone unki unki body unka face ka jo color hai usko faint hone se usi money usi usi paise ka jo flow hai wo support karta hai to means what is the poet saying that the poor the poor roadside roadside stand owner or the poor villager are requesting the rich city people to stop there and purchase something from them in order so that they can have some earning or they can say they can earn some money out of them 
तो क्या कहना चाह रहा है पोइट ये कह रहा है कि ये रोड साइड स्टैंड का जो ओनर है वो रिक्वेस्ट कर रहा है उन रिच रिच पीपल से जो वहां से पास होते हैं कि वो वहां पर कुछ टाइम के लिए रुके और अपना कुछ मनी वहां से स्पेंड करके उनसे कुछ परचेज करें ताकि उस पैसे का फ्लो जो है वो उनकी लाइफ में भी आए और उनकी भी जो है कुछ अर्निंग हो सके कुछ इनकम हो सके ओके नेक्स्ट द पोलिस ट्रैफिक पास विद ए माइंड आई हेम द पोलिस ट्रैफिक ओके फिगर ऑफ स्पीच इज ट्रांसफर एपिथेट ओके बिकॉज द पोलिस ट्रैफिक द पोलिस ट्रैफिक डिनोट्स द रिच पीपल पोलिस ट्रैफिक पोलिस ट्रैफिक मीन रिच पीपल पास विद ए माइंड अहेड दे पास दैट रोड विद ए माइंड अहेड मीन देवर ट्राई और देवर थिंक देवर थिंक अबाउट स्टॉपिंग दे दे ऑलवेज पासिंग बाय वो हमेशा वहां से पास होते रहते हैं वो रोड साइड स्टैंड को कभी भी वो नोटिस नहीं करते दे ऑलवेज इग्नोर दैट ओके Now take the next line पास विद ए माइंड अहेड और इफ एवर अ साइड ए मोमेंट देन आउट ऑफ सॉन्ग आउट ऑफ सॉन्ग Now this is an idiom and it means to feel annoyed. Okay, irritated. Now, what is the poet saying? The poet is saying that generally the rich people do not stop there. And if they by chance they stop there, they feel annoyed, they feel irritated. Why? Why is why is that कि दे दे कि उनको बड़ा irritation होती है वहाँ पर वो annoyed feel करते हैं वहाँ पर क्यों होता है? And having the landscape marred with the artless thing, landscape. Okay, the beautiful scene. Means generally, तो वो वहाँ पर रुकते ही नहीं. And if they do stop there, then they means in spite of showing some sympathy or pity on those poor, uh, poor people, they feel annoyed. They feel irritated and they show their anger on them and they they complain about what that your artless painting or your roadside stand has destroyed the beauty of this landscape. कि आपने जो roadside stand लगाया है उसके ने marred marred destroyed. Okay, so आपकी इस roadside stand और उसकी painting ने इसकी क्या कर दी है यहाँ की जो beauty है उसको destroy कर दिया खत्म कर दिया खराब कर दिया. Okay. Of signs that with n turned wrong and s turned wrong. और आपके इस रोड साइड साइड से जो डायरेक्शन को सिंबलाइज करने वाले n और s के जो साइड है वो भी रोंग डायरेक्शन में तो मिस जनरली दे डू नॉट स्टॉप देयर एंड इफ इफ बाय चांस दे स्टॉप देयर दे फील अनवर्ड और दे स्टार्ट कंप्लेनिंग अबाउट दैट कि आपने यहां की ब्यूटी को डिस्ट्रॉय कर दिया खराब कर दिया है यहां पे जो है आपने रोड साइड साइड गलत जगह पे रखा हुआ है ओके ओवर फॉर सेल वाइल्ड बेरीज इन वुडन क्वार्ट्स And now what uh, what do they have to sell about? क्या है उनके पास बेचने के लिए किस चीज की सेलिंग वो रिच जो रोड साइड स्टैंड ओनर है वो क्या कर रहे हैं वाइल्ड बैलीज ओके मीन्स ऑन द नेम ऑफ फ्रूट दे हैव वाइल्ड बैलीज टू सेल एंड दे कीप दैम इन वुडन पार्ट कंटेनर होते हैं उनमें रखते हैं लकड़ी है और और क्रूक नेक्ट गोल्डन स्क्वेस स्क्वेस गॉड जो लॉकी होती है विद सिल्वर वार्ड सिल्वर जो है उस पर स्पोर्ट्स है और जो है क्रूप ने मुड़ी हुई जो है दे हैव स्क्वेस लाइक जो है वेजिटेबल्स के लिए उनके पास क्या है दे हैव स्क्वेस ओके सो गॉड लॉकी जो होती है तो उनके लिए वेजिटेबल के नाम पे स्क्वेस और जो है फ्रूट्स के नाम पे वाइल्ड बेरी जो है वो वहां पर बेचते हैं ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट लाइन और ऑफ और क्रूप नेक्ट गोल्डन स्क्वेस विद सिल्वर वॉट्स ओके सो दे हैव टू आइटम्स टू सेल अबाउट वाइल्ड बेरीज एंड स्क्वेस ओके नेक्स्ट लाइन और ड्यूटी रेस्ट इन ए ब्यूटीफुल माउंटेन सीन नाउ द पोइट इज सेइंग दैट नो डाउट द ब्यूटी ऑलवेज रिमेन्स इन ए माउंटेन सीन दैट दिस पिक्चर और दिस रोड साइड स्टैंड मे नॉट बी ब्यूटीफुल टू लुक एट ही एक्सेप्ट दिस थिंग कि ब्यूटी ऑलवेज लाइज इन ए ब्यूटीफुल माउंटेन सीन You have the money, 
But if you want to be mean, the poet is saying to the rich people that you have money. But out of your meanness, because you are mean, because you are narrow minded, because you are selfish. Okay, he is calling them mean or selfish. Why, do, uh, why does he call them uh, selfish? Because you keep the money, uh, why keep the money closely? Closely means annually. Means if you have some money and you, if, if you have capability or if, if, you, if you can spend some money, then why don't you stop there and purchase something from them? So he is saying that you are becoming mean, you are selfish, that is why you are keeping your money and going to go along. This shows your selfishness, this shows your meanness. Because your attitude is mean, because you are selfish, that is why you do not purchase anything out of them, from them and you just go along. And closely means anger. Okay? Why don't you purchase something from them? Now, why keep the heart to the scenery would not be my complaint. Now the poet is saying the heart means to destroy. आपने एक तरह से जो वो एक तरह से वो destroy कर दिया तबाह कर दिया है वहाँ की beauty को mountain beauty को. The poet is saying that is not my complaint. Okay, the destroy or or beauty is not my complaint so much as the trusting soul. Trusting soul. Now. What is the meaning of trusting sorrow? Trusting sorrow is the definite sorrow of what is unsaid. Now this is important expression of what is unsaid. Means the poet is saying that I am not complaining about the beauty of the scene, but I am complaining about the sorrows of these people. I am talking about the pains, agonies. Uh, Conditions, poor conditions of these people and of what is unsaid. Means, just the barium we both I mean, what is unsaid? Ye log to khutu express nahi karte hai, jo so called jo writers or log hai, wo bhi usko express nahi karte hai, often it remains unsaid. Wo chupcha apne silently apne jo pains hai, wo se unko tolerate karte hai. So that is what the poet is saying that I am not complaining about the scene of the uh, beauty of the scene, but I am complaining about the sorrows of this. People. Here, far from the city, we make the roadside stand and ask for some city money to fill in hand. Now, what is the purpose of putting up that roadside stand? The poet is clearly saying that here, far from the city, we have put up this roadside stand and we try, if uh, we try, ask for some city money to fill in hand. What do we want? We want that some of the city money should come in our hand. ताकि हमारी भी कुछ इनकम हो सके हमारी लाइफ में में भी कुछ इंप्रूवमेंट्स आ सके हमारी लाइफ भी थोड़ा बेटरमेंट की तरह जा सके दैट इज व्हाट द पोएट इज सेइंग द पोएट इज सेइंग दैट द पर्पस ऑफ पुटिंग ऑफ दिस रोड साइड स्टैंड इज टू अर्न सम मनी फ्रॉम द सिटी पीपल नाउ नेक्स्ट टू ट्राई if it will not make our life being uh, it, will, it will not make our being expand and give us the life of movie pictures promise that the party in power is said to be keeping from us to try means we have put up this roadside stand and we want to have some city money in our hand and we try if it will not make our being expand means this small money this small money that we will uh, earn from the rich people this small money will not make our life being expand means he is saying कि आप इस बात से ना डरिए कि हम इस थोड़े से पैसे से हमारी लाइफ में इतना एक्सपेंशन हो जाएगा वी आर स्टैंडिंग हेयर और हम यहां पहुंच जाएंगे दिस इज नॉट गोइंग टू मेक सच ए ह्यूज डिफरेंस इन आवर but that small money and give us the life of moving pictures promises hame wo life mil sakta hai jo moving pictures mein promise kiya jata hai okay means this is movies mein filmon mein dikhaya jata hai waisa life hame waisi mil sakti hai that the party in power is said to be keeping from us and the party in power is try to keep that us means the party in power is said to be keeping from us and the party said means that life the party in power had 
has promised us ki jo at that time of election the party in power promised that we are going to make your life such or such kind we are going to bring these these improvements in your lives we are going to make your life uh, so respectful or so rude but he is saying that this small money is not going to make a huge difference in our life first thing but at least it, it can improve our life to the level of the uh, that of in uh, that is shown in movies or that is shown in pictures and at least we can have that much life that is the party in power promises to give ओके इस टाइम ऑफ इलेक्शन प्रॉमिस करते हैं हम आपकी लाइफ को इम्प्रूव करेंगे बेसिक फैसिलिटीज हम आपको प्रोवाइड करेंगे तो एटलीस्ट हमें जो है उस तरह की लाइफ उस थोड़े पैसे से मिल सकती है थोड़ी इम्प्रूव लाइफ हमारी हो सकती है बट इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू मेक ए ह्यूज डिफरेंस और बिग एक्सपेंसन इन अवर लाइफ ओके सो दैट इज द पोइट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द पोइट इज टॉकिंग दैट मीन्स generally rich people complain that you have destroyed you have marred you have ruined the beauty of the scene but he is saying that my complaint is not that my complaint is regarding about the sorrows of these people and what is the sorrow that they put up they put up some roadside stand and nobody stops there for purchasing or buying something from them so he is saying that we have the purpose of this roadside stand was to uh, the, the purpose of this roadside stand was to earn some money we want some of the city money to feel in the hand that that money that little money is not going to though that little money is not going to make a big difference in our lives but at least that can give us the life of moving pictures and that life that party in pro, uh, party in power promises us to give okay so that are that is the half of the poem that has been done in this lecture we are going to take it forward in the next lecture i hope you have understood the matter or the things discussed in this lecture thank you thank you very much